Hello friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. I am Martina Lily. well these are my hands and uh, today I'm going to show you guys my entire cream blush collection and I'm going to swatch them all for you and give you my thoughts on each of the products. I'm not going to rank them but I will kind of tell you my top ones and like my least ones in my collection. If you're down for a good old fashioned cream blush swatch party then Keep on watching. Before we get into it, do the youtube -y things, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and let's get started. So this is my entire cream blush collection. Yes, I have a thing for cream blushes, okay? I have a thing for blushes. I never knew that I did, but I do. Here we are. Do I want more? Yes, you bet your bottom dollar. Are there ones in my cart right now? Yes, you bet your bottom dollar. Is this a judgment-free zone? Yes, you bet your bottom dollar. <laughs> it actually seems like a really good spot to say. Please don't think I'm bragging or anything with this collection. I'm truly not. I just know that, well, personally, I love watching these kind of videos because when I want to go buy something or see what a shade actually looks like, I like these kind of videos as rec a reference point. I have a lot of makeup because I would honestly have this regardless of my YouTube channel. I know that a lot of the times it's like, well, I have a YouTube channel, but honestly, I'm ridiculous. And I, the thing that I love about makeup is actually trying different formulas and testing them against the brands and so I just love to have different different formulas from different brands and just keep trying these things for science so yeah you might have a smaller collection you might have a larger collection collection again completely judgment free zone I do need to count how many I have though because I actually don't know I have 33 there you go, 33 cream blushes. I'm gonna move these to the side now and then so that like, cause I don't wanna swatch over them so there's like a distraction and then we'll get started on all of the, the swatching. So let's start off with Chanel, shall we? It seems only fitting. So this is the Chanel Le Beige's Water Fresh Tint Blush and this is in the shade Intense Coral. Uh, finally, Australia actually has these, like David Jones, the Chanel's, the Myers, everything. Um, they have these in stock now, which is very exciting. It took well over a year. <laughs> um, I really like these. I've seen some people really dislike them. A little bit goes a long way. I've definitely pumped out way too much then on my hand. But I love these. These are some of the most natural, seamless cream blushes on the skin or cream blush on the skin that I have tried. Like look at that pigment first of all but because it has like I don't know if you can even tell just from my finger here like see how thin and like watery the consistency of this cream blush is because of that it literally melts into your skin and creates this like beautiful like I don't even want to say soft tint because it's not it really is quite pigmented on the cheeks at least from my personal experience but it melts in and looks so fresh and natural and seamless and diffused and just inc just impeccable on the skin. It really is beautiful. As a side note, for reference point, I like to apply my blushes over powder. That's just my preference. So if you like to do that too, then just so you know, this one goes really, really well over powder. The way that I like to apply it is with a sponge. So I like to actually, normally I would just pump a little bit out of my hand and then use the sponge to kind of like diffuse the little pigment kind of bubbles in it and then tap it onto the skin and it doesn't lift my foundation or powder or anything. And it looks so natural and amazing. I seriously love the Chanel Water Fresh blushes. I want the warm pink one as well. That is on my to purchase list. Next up we have the Tower 28 Cream Blush in Magic Hour. Really, really like Tower 28 as a brand. And this isn't my favorite formula. It's definitely a little bit more balm-like and creamy and dewy on the skin. I can put this over the top of um, powder, but I need to be careful. It's not I mean, yeah, I just need to be careful. So again, I find either a sponge with a very light touch or if I'm going to use a brush, it needs to be a dense brush and I need to use the softest of soft touches to tap it out. Um, but it is a very pretty blush. It just has a little bit more of a sticky consistency, but it does kind of set down as well at the same time. I can't exactly tell you why it's not something that's like super favorable or memorable in my collection. It just isn't, but it's also not bad. But I think it's just a little bit more finicky to apply over 
powder than I would prefer. If you're someone that wears your cream blush without powder, then you'll probably super duper love these. A cream blush that's quite similar is the Rose Ink Cream Blushes. This is in the shade Ophelia. And I hated this when I first tried it, like hated it, and then have since become really like it. Same thing, it's a little bit balmy. It's like a ro uh, cheek and lip tint. Usually that is your hint that something's gonna be quite balmy and dewy-like and hydrating. But the first time I used this, it lifted my foundation, but then I've since figured out, like a few of you guys were like, no, keep trying it, trust me. It's, you can apply it over powder. And again, it's like the Tower 28, where if I use it with a sponge or a dense brush and a light touch, it actually does apply really well over powder. So I do like that about it. I have come to really enjoy it. It's a beautiful pigment and it makes my cheeks look quite hydrated and plumped up and juiced up, but it does stay sticky. So for me, I definitely set it with a powder blush over the top because otherwise like my hair will fly into my face and it will stick to my face, which I don't super of but I actually do really quite I quite like this formula like I was gonna declutter it but it's really it's won me over like I, I enjoy it this one is the Fenty Beauty cream blush it's the duo from Christmas so peony dropper and Marley booze I don't think they have these shades as singles uh, I think you can probably still get this on like Sephora and the Fenty website I'm not quite sure but this was my first time actually trying the Fenty Beauty cream blush formula and wow do I love it it is a really great formula, but I specifically love these two shades. They're really nice. Like I have this kind of bright pink for when I want like that pop, or I have this more neutrally like deeper pink. And I just, I love them and I love them mixed together. And I really like this formula. It goes really well over powder, looks seamless, diffusing. It's lovely, a little bit tacky. Again, if you want something a bit more matte, you might not like these, but they do dry down quite well. And I don't know, I was pleasantly surprised. I know a lot of people when the Fenty Beauty cream blushes first got released were like super duper in love with them and raved about them. And I just never picked up a shade to try it, but I get it now, like the hype is real. It's, it's beautiful. And I think it just doesn't get as much hype now just because they're a little bit of an older release, but don't sleep on the Fenty Beauty cream blushes. Next up is the LYS cream blush in Kindness. And another blush formula that I think is really slept on. When these first got released, they got a lot of hype and a lot of people were talking them up and were like, these are amazing, blah, blah, blah. And then because it's not a new release anymore, like people don't talk about them. But let me tell you, this formula is amazing. It is amazing. It is a matte finish and it has a more dry consistency. So if you are oily skin, combo skin, you'll really, really like this formula. Um, I think this applies, this applies perfectly over powder. You can use it with a brush, a sponge. You don't have to be too careful. It doesn't move your foundation around or anything. It is incredibly long wearing, incredibly pigmented, and it makes your skin look poreless. Like it is a gorgeous cream blush. I think it's so underrated. It really reminds me the formula. It reminds me of the ABH stick cream blushes. So if you like that formula, you really like this one. And yeah, I just think that this, like this cream blush deserves a lot more hype. And I'd love to see the shade range of this cream blush expanded because it's impeccable. Next up, we have one that a lot of people really didn't like, but I super duper like, <laughs> is the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer Blush. This is in the shade Southbound. And I really like this. I think it's a beautiful formula. The reason why I like it is because it's not super dewy or hydrating and it dries down to be a more matte finish. So if you're going into this thinking it's like a juiced up kind of tinted moisturizer type formula, then you won't like this. But if you think of this like a I guess kind of less pigmented version of the LYS cream. Um, blush formula almost you'll probably really like this because it is a lot more subtle and a lot more natural given that it is like that tinted moisturizer effect but it does dry down and it is more of like a matte finish or a natural finish than like glowy and dewy which is what I think a lot of people were thinking with this blush formula being it's like a tinted moisturizer so I really like these and I think the shade range is amazing also yes you might notice that a lot of my cream blushes are the same kind of shade families that is because I don't necessarily buy my blushes to be like completely crazy unique shades that I hardly will wear. I like to pick shades that I will absolutely get a lot of use out of. For me, it's about trying different formulas. That's what it's all about. 
so just FYI. Next up isn't a brand that just constantly is underrated and overlooked. This is the LS Fast Cream Blush and this is in the shade S304. It's like a little twisty kind of one and it's a really beautiful shade. It's like this kind of burnt red burgundy type shade and I really like this. I like to apply it with a sponge and it has a little bit of hydration to it but it's not like crazy dewy or sticky. It dries down and it just kind of, especially this color, it's like a burnt terracotta-y sunburnty color and it's absolutely gorgeous and the formula is gorgeous. We have the blush tape from Tarte in the shade Peach. I think it's Peach. Yeah, Peach. And I don't really like this, to be honest with you. I keep it because it's pretty new in my collection, but I can definitely see myself decluttering this. It's just, when you blend this out, it really has no pigment to it, and they call it a blush tape, but I mean, if you're a deeper skin tone, this would be a really nice highlighter on you. It's too deep for me to use as a highlighter, and it's a bit greasy. It definitely lifts foundation. It doesn't really go well over powder at all, and I think you can just tell it's got hardly any pigment to it at all. So yeah, I don't really rate this one. That's all the singles. Now let's get into the brands that I own either multiple formulas or multiple shades of. First up, let's do the Charlotte Tilbury blush ones, shall we? I have one of the Glowgasms, two of the matte blush ones. So this is Peachgasm and it's similar to the Tarte one. I do like this formula better. I find it has a lot more pigment to it. I know these aren't technically like a cream blush. I think it's supposed to be like a... I don't know, like a highlighter, but also like a blush tint kind of thing. So again, if you're a deeper skin tone, it'll look beautiful as a highlighter for you. Or if you love a super metallic glowy blush, then you'll love this. It has a time and a place for me, but overall, it's just not my favorite kind of formula. But it does have a time and a place. But if you're not careful, this kind of formula, it will lift your foundation and your powder, even if you haven't powdered. So you just need to be careful with it. So it's overall not my super favorite. And then we have her new matte formula. This is uh, Peach Pop and Pink Pop. But to be honest with you, Pink Pop, so this one is Pink Pop that I'm about to swatch. It honestly just... I think is like coral, not so much pink. But anyway, these got so hyped, like so, so hyped. And I definitely like them more than the Glowgasms. It is a nice formula, don't get me wrong. It's a little bit more greasy. Again, you just need to be a little, I like to apply these with a sponge over powder. Otherwise it's gonna lift the foundation a little bit because it does have that little bit of a greasy kind of feel to it. They do dry down though. Um, and these are beautiful, don't get me wrong. Like they are a nice formula on the cheeks. I just think because it's like Charlotte Tilbury, I personally think these are a little bit like overhyped. I think that there are much better blush formulas on the market, but you know, they are nice. And if you are a Charlotte Tilbury fiend, you will like them. They're not terrible. I just don't rate them as much as other formulas. Next up, Danessa Myricks. This one right here is the Vision Flush cream blush and oh I think you can use this like on the lips, lips, eyes, cheeks. I think it's really multi-use I think. This is Bread and Butter, a beautiful shade, like truly a stunning, stunning shade and I really do like this formula. It's not super memorable to me in the sense of like what this one is which we'll get to but this is beautiful. It's very pigmented, it dries down, it's long wearing. You do need to, I, I find the best application with this is a sponge. You do just need to be a little bit careful. It can lift product underneath if you're not careful. Even if you haven't powdered, it might. So you just need to be mindful, use a very light touch. But it is a gorgeous product and I do love the shade. But let's talk about this one. This is the Yummy Skin Blurring Bl Balm Blush in Rosé and Brunch. And this is one of my all time favorite cream blush formulas. It is a little bit kind of like dewy and greasy like almost, which you would think I wouldn't like, but it has this, it's like that yummy skin blurring balm formula where it like dry, it's not dries down, but I don't know how to describe this texture. It's like, it feels kind of greasy to swatch and then as you apply it, it like almost dries down to like a powder form almost. It is gorgeous. It is so natural and seamless on the skin. You can barely, like it doesn't look like makeup. It looks like your skin just naturally flushes that color. Um, and it's smoothing, pore diffusing, it's long wearing, it is highly pigmented. You can sheer this out, but you can build this up to be super duper pigmented depending on your preference. 
um, and it is really, it goes so well over powder with a brush or a sponge. I like to use it with a brush and it's just honestly, truly one of my favorite cream blush formulas. I absolutely want to get more shades. I'm just trying at the moment to be well behaved, <laughs> but this is just chef's kiss. Next up, we have a pretty popular cream blush again. This is the Say Do blushes. I have, great question. Peachy and dreamy. So peachy and then dreamy. And I didn't think I would like these. I tried these. I got these first in America last year when I went to Elope. And I actually really, really like them. These are a really good blush for me, especially when my skin is feeling really dry because they do have that do to them. It just adds a little bit of like health back into the skin. But I really love the shades of these too. Like they're just like that typical kind of shades that you've seen me swatch out already, but also a little bit different. Like I love that this peach is a little bit more browny, terracotta -y leaning. And then I just love this like deep wine color almost. I just think it is absolutely beautiful on the, the face. And I like to apply these. You can actually apply these with a brush or a sponge. It doesn't really lift your foundation, even over powder, like it wears beautifully. It doesn't dry down. It does kind of stay a little bit, well, do like, but it's not sticky. I mean, I do like to still set them with a powder, but that's just me. If you have oily skin though, you probably wouldn't like these, but I like that they're dewy and hydrating on the skin without being like shiny or like texture enhancing. It's just like you've really moisturized the skin. I, I really, really like these. These are incredible. Next up we have NARS. So this one is the Freedom Air Matte, Air Matte Blush. And I, I don't mind this. This is nice. Um, I don't like the packaging. I don't like this kind of tub. It kind of makes it a little bit hard to get it out. It applies fine with a brush over powder and everything. It doesn't lift it. But listen, this is more of like a wash of color. If you want a matte, it's like a mousse type feeling um, and it does kind of dry down to like almost a powderish type feel, but it's more of like a wash of color. It's not crazy, crazy pigmented. It isn't my all time favorite formula, but I don't dislike it. I just wouldn't purchase more of these shades, for example. But I think if you like, if you liked the Shiseido whipped blushes, you will probably really like this. This one, on the other hand, this is the liquid blush in Behave. And this is like my favorite. Oh, it is gorgeous. This formula, it's like the Chanel Waterfresh tint blush and the uh, Danessa Myricks one, but like, it's like those two had a baby actually. It is perfection. It is so smoothing on the skin. It's diffusing. It's long wearing. It's pigmented. It is so natural looking. It doesn't look heavy or cakey. It just melts like into your skin and looks like skin. It applies really well over powder. I like to apply this with a sponge. Oh gosh, like I love everything about this cream blush. It is, oh, it's so amazing. And apparently they're discontinuing these. And if that's the case, I will riot because these need to stay around forever. They are that good. Truly, they are that good. Victoria Beckham Beauty Cream Blush Sticks. Do you think I like them? I love them. I love these. Now I have four shades, so let me swatch them for you. This one is my all time favorite. This is Playground. This is the cream blush I wore on my wedding day. And I just love that it's like this neutral brown shade. I love it so much. This one is Knickers and it's like a peachy shade, peachy coral more peachy. This one is Fume and it's like a wine, wine purple mauve and I love it. For those of you that have been around here for a while, you know I love a, a mauve. And then this one is Roller Skate and it's like an electric coral, I would describe it. It's like a pink but also not a pink. It's like a peach but also not a peach. And I really, really love it. A great summer blush. I, I seriously love the Victoria Beckham Cream form blush formula. It's one of my tops. I think it is, I love her shades because they're like the same shades that everyone else has, but slightly different. It is hydrating and natural on the skin while still being um, not sticky or overly dewy or greasy. It dries down, it is long wearing. You can build these up, you can shear them out. It is just one of the best formulas of cream blush around in my personal opinion. I like to rub it out on like the back of my hand and then pick it up with a brush and apply it. That's the best way I've found to apply them, but you could do um, sponges and stuff. And if you don't set your face with powder, you could also just draw it directly on the face probably and tap it out, it's up to you. But I just think these are highly 
underrated, like highly, highly underrated. The shade range is awesome. The quality of the product is amazing and I love them. Next up, let's talk about Rare Beauty. I have two types of formulas. Now, let's talk about this one first. This one is new, nearly neutral and it's in the melting blush formula. It's kind of like a more balm type formula. I love the shade of this. I think the shade is absolutely impeccable. I wouldn't say this is my favorite of the Rare Beauty blushes. It's very, very sheer. It reminds me a little bit actually of the NARS Soft Matte Cream blushes. See how sheer that is, like a very soft wash of color. It's also quite slippery and that's how I find it applies on the skin is really quite slippery. And if I'm not careful, it does lift my foundation a little bit. So yeah, the melting blushes, sorry, from Rare Beauty. I think if you have dry skin or you don't wear powder, you'll probably really, really love these. Um, and I love the shade, but it's, it's, and I can work with it, but it's just, it's really not a formula that I want to pick up other shades in. Whereas these ones, on the other hand, holy dooly. Now, if you've been around here a while, the first shade I tried of this was Bliss. And I didn't realize, but it was the matte formula and I hated it. Like I truly did not like it. I got rid of it. I couldn't make it work for me. It was patchy. I just did not like it. And then Virtue came along. And I just picked it up because honestly, I could not go past this like terracotta burnt shade. It just drew me in and I was like, that's it. I'm just going to try it. Now, this is the Dewey formula. And well, lo and behold, I love the Dewey formula. <laughs> this has become one of my favorite blush formulas of all time. It really has. I love it. And I think the shade range of the Rare Beauty Cream blushes, Selena Gomez has absolutely nailed it because it is one of the most comprehensive cream blush shades, shade ranges, sorry, that I have ever seen. This one right here is Encourage. And I love this kind of like mauvey purple. So I have um, Virtue and Encourage. I think they are absolutely ooh, gorgeous. I actually have a couple of these like other shades in this do formula from her in my cart right now. I'm waiting for Worth to come back in stock too. I really want that. Oh wow. Oh wow. Now I find the best way to apply these personally is with a sponge, but it doesn't lift my foundation or anything. It's like the perfect amount of pigmentation. It's long wearing. It makes my skin look healthy and hydrated without being like texturizing. It's smoothing. It's natural looking. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I was such a hater for the on these for so long, but turns out I'm just a hater on the matte formula. But these like do formulas, oh my gosh, I'm like, I'm so obsessed with them. It almost makes me angry. Like I just love them so much. Let's talk about the new Pat McGrath Labs color balms. I picked up three shades. This one is Divine Rose. So this is kind of like what the stick looks like. I have like a full in-depth review of these if you're wondering on my channel already. So this one's Divine Rose. Then we have Sunkissed Seduction. And then we have Paradise Peony. And if you had to figure out what my three favorite kind of blush shades are in like a variety of different formulas, it's obviously these three, okay? <laughs> um, I actually really, I wanted to pick up the whole collection of these. And the reason that held me back is the word balm. I didn't think that I was going to be obsessed with this formula, but I am obsessed with the shade range she released. I think that all six shades that she released are gorgeous. I do love the three that I ended up with. They're very me tones, very beautiful, kind of covers a variety of like looks and occasions. So I'm happy with that. These are a cheek and lip formula and I've tested them on both the cheeks and the lips and on the lips they're a beautiful formula very hydrating and they look lovely on the lips they really do on the cheeks they do look nice if you have dry skin or you're someone that loves that glass skin look that extra extra dewy juiced up cheeky look like sorry juiced up cheek look on the cheeks what you will love this like you will absolutely love this i don't even know i don't really have a formula in my collection that it's close to except for maybe like these ones but even these ones are different it's just it's very it, they're very like greasy hydrating type feeling they're not that pigmented like can you see even just the shine there like on when you swatch them out they're not like crazy pigmented you can build them up a little bit but you're not going to get the same level of pigment as what you would get with say like the NARS liquid blush or the Victoria Beckham or even the Rare Beauty but they are nice like when I first 
use them in the review, I was kind of like, yeah, they're okay. Like, and, and don't get me wrong, I don't dislike these. They're just not my favorite. These do work well over powder. So how I like to apply these, sorry, is with a sponge. And I just tap it lightly over the top where I want to apply the blush. And then I like to set it with a, another blush powder. And then I really do quite like it. And as the day kind of wears on, and my makeup like melts into my skin a little bit. It just kind of adds this nice subtle juiced up look instead of the oval over the top kind of glass kind of look. Oily skin, you will hate these, I think, unless you are someone with oily skin that likes that juiced up glass skin look. But if you have oily skin, I don't think these will last long on your face. So overall, they're not bad. There will be a lot of people out there who think these are holy grails. I can absolutely see that for sure. But for me in particular, they're just nice. And last but certainly not least, we have my Makeup by Mario blush collection. Clearly, I'm a fiend for his cream blushes. So let's start with this stick formula. Again, I have four shades and I love them. I should say I have bought every single one of these cream blushes except for one with my own money. So I got the shade Fume from Victoria Beckham in PR, but every other single shade I got with my own money. Okay. So let's swatch these. This one is Earthy Pink. Then we have Raspberry. Then we have Soft Coral. And then Dusty Rose. So they are the swatches of the stick blushes. And these are gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. A formula that definitely gets overlooked quite regularly, I think. Um, these are hydrating on the skin, but they're highly pigmented for one. So you can apply these with a blush, a blush, a brush or a sponge. Doesn't matter which one, it's gonna look lovely and it's not gonna lift your foundation or anything, even over powder. It does have a slight stick to it, but they dry down. So if you leave this for a few minutes, they do dry down, but they leave your skin looking like you've just got the best moisturizer on in the entire world. They don't look too glowy. They don't look too dry or matte looking. They just honestly look like your skin is so healthy. They're amazing. I really do like these. I also really like the shade range of these and I think that they will cover most skin tones because they do build up to be so, 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 so pigmented. Like they really are a stunning cream for blush formula. And then you have these new ones, which are the blush veils, which are like the skin enhancer formula, but in a blush one. So this one's barely blushing and this one is the perfect pink and these are gorgeous too truly like absolutely a beautiful beautiful formula but a lot more like hydrating and almost greasy feeling on the skin than the blush sticks but they're they're not too dissimilar to be honest with you but the reason why you would pick one, like this one over the blush sticks is if you want something that's a lot more sheer and hydrating on the skin then you want to go with these blush veils, more of like a no makeup makeup look or just a, yeah, just a softer cream blush. Maybe you're an, a beginner to cream blushes and they make you a bit nervous. This is probably a good formula for you to start with. You can just tell even just from the swatches how much more pigmented these are than these, but I really like both of his cream blush formulas. I think they're impeccable. If you like the skin enhancer from him, you'll really like this formula. If you don't like the skin enhancer from him, you will not like this formula. If you have oily skin, I don't think you'll like this formula. But for me, I really do think it has a time and a place in my collection. And I've actually been wearing these more than I anticipated that I would. If you want to know what my top five cream blush formulas are in my collection, it's these ones. The Makeup by Mario Blush Sticks, the NARS Liquid Blush, the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Blurring Blush, the Victoria Beckham Beauty Blushes, and the Rare Beauty Do Cream Blushes. These are my top five favorite formulas in my collection for sure. For me, these do everything I want them to do. They go well over powder. They look wonderful on my like skin. They are long wearing, they're smoothing, they're natural. I just think these are like chef's kiss of cream blushes personally. My bottom five in my collection would be these ones. So these are the two kind of glowed, like Glowgasm and Blush Tape from Tarte and Charlotte Tilbury. They're kind of like the same, same, but different product. These are just not my vibe. They're too metallic-y for the skin and they lift my foundation. They're too finicky. It's just not for me. Then this Rare Beauty Melting Blush um, formula as well as the NARS M Air Matte formula. They're actually quite similar to each other. This is a little bit more like 
hydrating and greasy-ish feeling, but they're quite similar to each other. They're very sheer, like a watercolor. They're not bad. I don't actually own any cream blush in my collection that I think is like absolutely terrible, except for maybe like these two, but they're not even terrible. They're just not my preference um, because I anything that I think is really bad, to be honest with you guys, I declutter pretty much straight away. Um, so everything I own, I enjoy and will use, but these are like my my kind of least favorite. And then this Tower 28 cream blush formula. I don't know why. It's beautiful. I love the shade and it does work well. It's just not memorable to me. So yeah. They're my bottom one. That is my entire cream blush collection swatched for you guys and my thoughts on them. And like I said, I don't really own any apart from say maybe these two, but even then they're fine. <laughs> but I don't own any that I absolutely dislike or think are absolutely trash because I do declutter anything that I don't super like straight away because there's just no point in really me keeping them around. But all of these I really do like. They have a place in my collection, um, some more than others, but honestly overall with my blush collection, my cream blush collection I should say, I am super in love with it and hopefully that was like maybe a helpful guide for you guys if you are looking for one in particular. Um, or looking for one over the other or just shades. Hopefully that was helpful in some way, shape or form. Let me know what your favorite cream blush formula is down below. I would love to know that. And if you're watching till this point, you're an absolute legend. Thank you so, so much. I truly appreciate it. And I just hope that you have the most amazing day wherever you are in the world. And I will see you next time. Bye.